Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, as we looked at the numbers from Steam, which had a weird drop in Windows 11 and a really big one, and a big rise in Windows 10, which is unexplainable, basically. Um, I'm pretty sure nobody, you know, not that many people have returned to Windows 10 from Windows 11 on a gaming machine. Um, it's almost just wondering if it's just readjusting the numbers to something that maybe might have been more um, close to reality. So here's the other numbers that we have from StatCounter. StatCounter checks the number of um, the Windows version by the, the apps that are running on their computers. And so uh, here we have the numbers from what we see um, on stat counter for March 2023 and what I think is probably a fairly close assessment of the reality. So Windows 10 at 73.5%, which is dominating. It's it's obvious that Windows 10 is the king of Windows right now. Then we have Windows 11 at almost 21%. Windows 7 still at 3.7%. And then Windows 8.1 and 8 and XP, which are below 1%. Still interesting to see 3.7% of Windows 7 machines. Um, but it is really, really something that I find fascinating right now. is to see how resilient Windows 10 is. And to see how it just stays there and stays at a high mark. And... You know, we've gained on Windows 11 from other operating systems, some a little bit of Windows 10, but of course from Windows 7 also probably. But still, I mean, it's just crazy to see that Windows 10 stays so high. And it's crazy to see that Windows 10 is so high at a point in its life that it's just, you know, uh, at the standard support mode. It doesn't have any anything new to offer in the future. Um, really shows that people kind of like it and want to use it. Of course, once again, two things that probably are not helping Windows 11, the minimum requirements, that's for sure, and the bad publicity it's getting. Um, I, I see a lot more negative comments on Windows 11 than I see positive. So that also will you know, have people say, well, I don't want to go to Windows 11. Um, how many of those 73.5% have a compatible machine that could be updated to Windows 11? It'd be interesting to know, but I'm sure there's quite a few numbers here. Latest statistics I've seen on the, um, the compatible machines is that there were at least 35 to 40% of the PCs out there that were uh, capable of running Windows 11. So that shows that there's a lot of resistance of people not wanting to go there. Um, and with the new PCs sold now this year, which are pretty much all Windows 11, uh, kind of interesting. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering where we are going with Windows 10 as you know next year and, and the year after. I don't see Windows 10 going below 50% even in two years. It, I, you know, Windows 12 needs to be a darn f fascinating operating system to have Windows 10 go away. Uh, because right now, it, it's just not going away. And it's pretty stable month after month. It's not really dropping that much. So here, the first line we see here is Windows 10. And we actually have an uptick in Windows 10 in February. This goes pretty much with the demise of Windows 7, Windows 8.1 kind of logic. If we look here, it even rose a little more. If we look at Windows 11, there's a steady rise, you know, 18, uh, 19, 20, almost 21%. It, it's it's rising steadily. It is, you know, at second place, but, but it's so far from Windows 10. It's just amazing. So we'll see as time goes by what happens with this, but um, if I was Microsoft and I said it in the past, I would be nervous if, uh, as these numbers are showing that Windows 10 is still so high. Only, you know, two years and a half before it actually will be the end. 
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.